Hey, hey up, up Chatter Gang. Gang. Today we're in Barnsley, where I was born and bred. And we're going to take you a look around the town and show you some of the new developments, because he's Colin. He's Tim. And, and together, together we are the Chatter Guys. Guys. Come on, let's get showing you. Uh, Tim, this is the new uh, DMC at Zero Two building, which is the digital media centre. Oh, this looks very modern. It is. The idea of this is uh, the council built the first one, which is opposite the road to it. Um, and it was so successful, but they, they built a second one. And the idea is they're all diff inside they're all different units that people rent out uh, who's into uh, information technology. And they would rent out the units, and it's proved very successful. Oh, we could rent one out for a studio, Colin. We could. Anyway, let's move on to some more stuff to show you. This is the at Barnsley Interchange Integrated Bus Station and Train Station and Barnsley spent a lot of money in this building and kind of kick-started the old development of Barnsley. Yeah, I know when we've come to Barnsley on the train, this is where you come in. It's very impressive, isn't it? It's nice and modern. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it uh, gives, gives you a good impression of Barnsley when you first arrive. We'll show you some shots. Behind us, what's almost complete is a new footbridge to get into town. So how do people get into town before there was a footbridge, Colin? Well, funny you should say that, Tim, because right outside of us, which you can't see in this shot, is a rickety old footbridge, but previous to that, which has just been put up while they build this new one, but previous to that, you, did, you had open barriers that used to come up and down when the trains were passing. Really? Yeah, no, well, very scary. <laughs> well, how many lives did that claim? <laughs> A lot of people ignore them. I, I, yeah, I imagine it's much very dangerous. After the miner strike in the 70s, Barnsley, like a lot of South Yorkshire mining towns, fell on hard times. Yeah, and it did have its reputation over the years of being rough and ready. But we want to show you what it's really like today. We do, come on. This is Barnsley's new £190 million complex, which is called the Glassworks. What you see behind us is a lovely tribute memorial that they've done for the coronavirus. Remembering all the people that lost their lives, all the workers, the NHS workers, postal strike workers, taxi drivers, bus drivers, in memorial to anybody who lost their lives during COVID.
So, um, the Barry Hines Memorial. Who is Barry Hines and what is it? All right, so Barry Hines is the man that created Kez. Can't you see what he's got in his hand? I did guess he was holding a Kestrel, yes. Have you seen the Kez film? Uh, I've seen it a long, long time ago, yes. I definitely recommend watching the Kez if you've not seen it, Chattergang. It's all about Bansley and it's a great film. So behind us is the um, the Alhambra Shopping Centre, uh, which was uh, built uh, ooh, over 30 years ago. Uh, there's lots of nice shops inside, and we're going to go in and have a coffee. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> we are, but we can't. There's no photography allowed in there. So what we'll do is I'll use some um, I'll use some other footage that I've got and show you what inside there what we've done before. Uh, but yeah, it's lovely inside. Good. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>
what you can see behind us at the side of the town hall. Uh, although you can't see them at the minute because they're not switched on, they've also got some fountains all the way up here. It's lovely when they are on because you'll see uh, children and, uh, well, sometimes adults as well, uh, running through the fountains and it's all lit up on the night as well. It's really nice. Just a pity they're not on today. Yes. This is a abstract sculpture by Nigel Hall. It's called Crossing Vertical 2006. It's outside Barnsley Town Hall and it's on loan from the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. Now, Colin, you've got an amusing story to tell us about it, haven't you? I have. When, it first, when they first installed this, after it only had been up about a month, they had to shut it back down again and put all barricades around it. Uh, to install some CCTV around it because people were using it on a night after a few bevies <laughs> to climb up. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> I can no. see the attraction. <laughs> So we're just going to take you next, Tim. We're going to show you around uh, Victoria Arcade. Oh, there's good. some uh, old shops and there's some uh, really good drinking places. The... Well, let's get showing you. Come on. This is a, a really popular Irish bar, Annie, Annie Murray's. Oh, right. I used to go to school with the um, owner of that bar. Well, Annie? Not Annie, no. <laughs> uh, okay. You'll see this is a, a rock reggae bar. You want, Tim? Yeah, you want. <laughs> what else have we got? Oh, look, we've got 80s casual classics. Oh, what would just start with? It's our era. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, the mashing it looks uh, looks like it's closed. There is a lot of places that's closed on a Sunday. I don't know whether uh, Barnsley's probably not a good place to visit on a Sunday, is it? Well, it, it was busy um, around the glassworks, but a lot of shops are closed, which I would have thought Sunday is probably the second busiest day of the week after Saturday. Yeah, there's there's a, a, a what place called Victorian Tea Room there, and you can see there's a, a old ivory shed. There is lots of bars that's opened up down here. Um, what's the name of the bars? What I'm trying to think of. Uh, micro bars. Yeah, there's a lot of micro bars that's down here, which we'll show you in just a second. And then to your left here, we're going to go into Mandela Gardens, which has got the Civic Theatre inside there. Um, and there's also a nice pub called Garrison, so we'll show you up there as well. So that was George's Yard for you, and we're just going to now take you down to the bottom of Victoria Arcade. What do you think to this arcade, Tim? It's really it's, nice. It's yeah. a pity that everything's shut. Uh, yeah. I bet it's nice at Christmas when it's all lit up. It is it decorated. Is nice. It's a bit like an old Victorian alleyway, isn't yeah. it? You can see there's loads of little bars here. You've got uh, Coven, you've got uh, Peaky's Bar, that's got the LGBT flag up on there. Oh, they must have been celebrating Pride yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but I would definitely recommend uh, this arcade on a Saturday. It's much more live here with everything opened. There's some really nice clothes shops at the bottom here as well. Uh, Frank Bird, that's a, a, a premier shop uh, in Barnsley. So there's lots going off in Victoria Arcade. So is this the original cinema for Barnsley, Colin? It is, it's called Parkway and it's where the old Odeon cinema used to be. It's independent, so if you do like your films and you like to have a good value ticket without paying fancy prices over at the multiplex, then Parkway is the way forward. Sounds good. There you have it, our tour of Bansley. As you can see, it's got lots to offer and it's well worth a visit. We definitely recommend it for a good day and a good night out. If you do like the video, 
please give us a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely, absolutely not thanks for watching chatter gang we'll catch you on the next one bye 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 bye, bye.